So the head of the Republican National Committee reportedly has asked Donald Trump to tone his comments down on immigration. And that's not the only controversial comment made by GOP candidate that's causing an uproar. ABC's Serena Marshall has the details. It may be his worst gaffe yet. In New Hampshire, Republican frontrunner Jeb Bush saying Americans need to work more. Workforce participation has to rise from its all-time modern lows. It means that um, people need to work longer hours. Americans already work more than any other industrialized country, on average 47 hours a week. Hillary Clinton's campaign reacting quickly. Her campaign chairman tweeting, Americans are working pretty hard already. Bush backtracking those comments overnight saying he was talking about underemployment, meaning those who want to work more but can't. Well, I think people want to work harder to be able to have more money in their own pockets, not to be dependent upon government. I mean, you can take it out of context all you want, but high sustained growth means that people work 40 hours rather than 30 hours. Six and a half million people in the U.S. involuntarily work part time because they can't find full time employment. A survey finding nearly 50% of those working part time want more hours at the same pay. Labor force participation rate at its lowest since 1977. Billionaire presidential contender Donald Trump also tackling the topic of labor, admitting that it's possible undocumented immigrants help build his empire. I, I can't guarantee it. How can I? How can anyone? We have 34 million in the country. I can say this: we work very hard to make sure that everybody is legal as opposed to illegal. Here are the facts. There are currently 11 million undocumented immigrants in the country, 4 million of those with American-born children. And while Trump may stand by his remarks calling immigrants murderers and rapists, the Republican National Committee chairman is urging him to tone it down, spending nearly an hour on the phone with him last night. Rena, TJ? Serena, thank you so much. You remember Mitt Romney in 2012? He only got, like, it was like 27% of the Hispanic vote. I wonder if can the, just the GOP, the Republican Party as a whole, recover from any of these comments, even though it might not be the certain, might not be Trump as a front runner, but does it blend over and bleed over to the whole party? It lumps into what a lot of people say just is standard operating procedure. It, it follows a storyline. They've, they've, they've tried. They have been trying and trying since the last election to try to make inroads in minority communities, and then somebody high profile like that from the Republican Party says something, and it sets them back. Mm. Okay, we'll have to see.